me show you how to make this beautiful head cover for your driver. You're going to need a ball of yarn. This is called Impeccable. It is a tropical storm, medium weight acrylic, and a size 5 millimeter crochet hook. And a 100% acrylic worsted black yarn. Okay, let's begin by making a um, magic circle. To do that, make sure your tail is in the front. So leave it a bit of a tail, wrap it around your two fingers, cross it in the back, take this part and tuck it in. Now take your crochet hook, insert. Now remove your fingers, but leave the tail in the front and this one, the one that's attached, you're gonna lift up, pinch it here, yarn over and pull through. Okay, now you can go ahead and pick up your yarn. So now we have a ring and we want to make sure that the tail end always on top. You start by chaining one and give yourself lots of room on the loop. So make sure this is loose. Okay, so we're going to go into the ring three times. So we're going to yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through. We have three on. Yarn over, into the ring, yarn over, pull through. Five on. Yarn over into the ring, yarn over, pull through. Seven on. Make sure they're loose. Now you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna go through all of them. And then you're gonna yarn over and pull through. So that completes one puff. So now we have to do yarn over into the ring, yarn over, pull through. That's once. Yarn over into the ring, yarn over, pull through. That's twice. Yarn over, into the ring, yarn over, pull through. That's three times. That gives us a total of seven on the hook. Make sure they're loose. Yarn over, pull through all of them, and then yarn over and chain one. Okay, so I did eight puffs into the ring, and I'm going to join it. So I want to make sure my tail end is on the outside when I join them and if you look you can tell that this is the back side my tail end is here which is what I want so I'm going to go back here make sure that is down and I'm going to slip stitch to join I'm just going to go on top of here this is where I my first one just before my first one where I chained up so I'm going to insert in here and I'm going to slip stitch to join I'm going to chain one. So now into this, see this space here? You're going to do a puff stitch in here, which is right beside it. One, two, three, and there. Now into the same stitch, one more puff. and secured. Now if you look at the puff puff you'll see there's a puff here so into the space in between puffs. So we're going to be working in between puffs okay so right in there. So let's do another puff stitch so yarn over insert remember how we're doing the puff stitch three on yarn over insert five on yarn over so you basically go in three times Make sure this is loose, you should have seven on, and yarn over and yarn over and pull through, and chain one, and into the same. So basically what we're doing is we are doubling everything that we did. So we're gonna go in between the puffs twice. That will increase everything in two, and chain one. So keep doing that all the way around. Okay, and we're going to slip stitch to join, so just go and we chained up one on this side and yarn over, pull through. That completes our second row. I'm going to turn my work over. See, that's how it looks like on the back, and I'm going to lie it flat, and I'm just going to pull this, and this will just close my circle, but not too tight. I want some hole in because we're going to do a little pom-pom there. So this is how it looks like after two rows. We did eight puffs into the circle and then we did two puffs in between each puff. So 
from the first row for a total of 16. Okay, so let's um, carry on now to row number three. So row number three, we're going to chain one. We're going to take a different piece of yarn because it's good to start marking or else you're going to get lost as you go around in circle. And we're going to yarn over and we're going to put a puff right here. So if you look underneath here, we're going to go in between this puff because this chain one is count as one puff. So we're going to go here and we're going to put in one puff. And into the next one, we're going to put in another puff. So what I'm doing is I'm putting single puffs in the next three. So this will be my third one. And into my fourth one, I'm going to do two puffs. So that's one and one more into the same space. Okay, so that's our pattern for this row. You're going to do a single puff, one, two, three, and two puffs into the fourth space. So we're only going to be increasing this row by four, so you should have at the end of the day 20 puffs. Go ahead and count your puff, make sure you have 20. Show the marker how easy it is. Now you just insert your crochet hook where the marker is and slip stitch to join. Remove your marker chain one and place your marker back right behind. So now we want to maintain 20 puffs all for the next 10 rows. So keep going and doing this for the next 10 rows but only doing once in between each puff. So not starting underneath, see where our little chain one is? You don't want to go in here because this little chain below is count as the same puff as this. You want to go. So this is how it looks like after 10 rows. And make it smaller. To that, we're going to have to start um, reducing our, our puff stitches. So let's start by making an ordinary puff like we did before. So let's just do a puff in here. Two, three. Okay. That's one. And then another one in here. So we did two puffs like normally we would do them. And then on the third one, we're just going to yarn over, go in here, yarn over and pull through. But now we're going to go and move on to this one here. So we're going to yarn over and go to the next space and yarn over and pull through. So we should have five on. So now we're just going to do one more time into the same one and our seven on. And we're going to do our puff here. So what we, we did is we reduced by one puff. We kind of combined it. Okay, so that's going to be our pattern. So do two normal ones and two reduced. So go ahead and finish that row. This is where we had our mark in. So I'm just going to slip stitch to join, but I'm not going to chain one. What I'm going to do now is I am going to, I'm going to cut the yarn. I'm going to pick up my black ball of yarn. I'm going to take the end and I'm going to pinch an eye like this. Now I'm going to pick up my crochet hook and I'm going to insert it into that eye and I'm going to pull through. And now things are loose so this is why I recommend we tighten it with our hands. So now you got to tighten the blue one and you got to tighten your black ones. You're going to have two tail ends and I'll show you how we're going to deal with them in one second. Let's just pick up our yarn and let's chain two. So let's chain two, one, two, and I'm going to put down and I'm going to take the two tail ends and I'm going to just tie them in a knot. Not too tight, but tight. So I'm going to do a double knot. There. So we go now we're going to pick up my yarn and I'm going to take my two tail ends and I'm going to let them sit on top. And this way they'll be weaved in as we're doing this. 
the stitch you want to use is a double crochet now if you look at the work you'll see underneath all our puffs is a V so we're going to be crocheting doing a double crochet right under the V so inserting our crochet hook so first of all we yarn over in a double crochet and we insert under the V right there okay we're going to take our two tails and we're just going to let them sit on top that's how we weave them in so we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through once we should have three loops on for those of you who don't know how to do a double crochet yarn over pull through two you should have two on and yarn over and pull through two I know it's hard to see but um, we're doing a double crochet stitch so to do a double crochet of course we yarn over and we insert under the V which is what we did now we're going to take our ends and we're going to let them sit right on top because remember we want to weave them in we're going to yarn over and pull through we should have three on yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two okay moving on to the next one okay so looking at your work when you do a double crochet you'll see this is our puff there is a V above the puff so you want to go once above the puff and then the next one is in that space do not go in that space but there is a hole and there is a V you see with one yarn underneath so you want to go into that eye okay so this is where you want to do your double crochet okay so on so the at the end of the row slip stitch to join you want to go in where we chained up two you want to go in the second hook and count your stitch stitches you should have 40 okay so we chain two now we're going to yarn over and insert a crochet hook to the first one yarn over pull through but we're not going to carry on and finish our uh, double crochet stitch we're going to insert into the second one yarn over and pull through so you should have four on and now we're going to do our double crochet stitch through two and then we're going to do through three okay so that's what it does that reduces because you we want a little bit tighter Okay, so I slip stitch the second row so now for the third row we're going to chain two and uh, crochet once into every stitch all the way around do 13 rows okay so I've come to my desired length I'm just gonna slip stitch to join here I'll show you how to finish it so you would normally slip stitch I did 15 rows if you like longer you can go ahead and do longer but I'm happy with my length so I'm just gonna cut my yarn now and now to finish it all I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up my yarn and pull it through all the way and down okay so now take this in and weave it in and you weave it in by just weaving it in along this way a little bit then down and then back this way you can do it with a crochet needle you can do it by hand or you can do it with the crochet hook I just do it with the crochet hook I just go under my V and I pull it in this way then I come across here and I pull it that way and then I come down and pull it okay so it's time to make our pom-pom so first of all take your yarn and you need about about a foot so I'll cut a foot yarn which I did and now we're going to take, um, you can use the palm of your hands. What we want to do is we want to wrap it around to make our pom-pom. And so you can use something that's close to the palm of your hands, which is this little notebook, which I'm going to use. I'm going to hold it at the very top. And I'm just going to wrap it around about, about 70 times. Cut my yarn. Okay, now I'm going to carefully hold that together. And I'm going to lay my yarn there in the middle. I'm going to just right in the middle like that. And I'm going to tie it in the middle. So I'm just going to tie it there. Make sure it's in the middle. If not, just fix it now. And then just help it by holding it down and put another knot in it so it's a double knot okay, so now you hold on to the tail ends because you don't want to be cutting into that and then you're going to take your scissors you're going to slip it under there and you're going to cut along there now turn it around 
again holding to my tail make sure they're out of the way and I'm gonna cut this part okay, so they're again holding on to my bottom end there's our pom-pom fluff it out a bit haircut if it's too big or too fluffy or a little bit uneven or and of course I gave a little chop it's nice and smooth now you're going to take your two tail ends. Remember that little um, magic circle we did? We want to feed these two ends right through the middle. So they're down there. So there, now I'm going to turn my... I'll put my hand in there. Finger, and I'm going to grab those two ends. I'm going to feed them through. And I'm going to pull. Like that. And I'm going to... Turn it inside out. There's my tail, so now I'm going to fasten them off. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to feed them under one of my puffs. I'm going to grab one end and I'm going to pull it through. There we go. Pull that in too. And the other one, I'm going to go to underneath the opposite side of the puff. And I'm going to pull it through. There we go. Now I'm going to take these two ends and I'm going to fasten them by tying them together and doing a double knot. So we know that that is not coming apart. And I'm just going to trim it off a little bit so it's not too big of a tail. We don't need a big tail. Okay, now I'm going to turn it right side out again. And there's just one thing left to do. Now, do you remember this is our magic circle, how we didn't tighten it all the way last time? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to tighten it so now we know that that is tight, tight, tight. And I'm just going to trim this part so it's equal with my pom-pom.